Mercedes Benz C300 2013 drive belt, belt tensioner, and two pulleys will be changed. First thing you want to do is get off your tensioner. Okay, if your belt is on, you're going to need a size 17 to release the tension. But you place it right here. No matter what, to get to the second screw of the tensioner, you're going to have to push down and put this pin to hold the tensioner in place so you can get to the second bolt, which is underneath the pulley. So size 17 holds the tensioner. And once you do that, you're going to place this pin, which is going to hold it in position so you can get the lower bolt. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so now the pin is in the tensioner. So as you can see, when I release the ratchet, it doesn't even move because the pin holds it in place. Next step. Two E10 torques, if you can see. Two of these hold on the tensioner. One on the top, one on the bottom. So we're gonna break those loose now. Sorry, the bolts are not an E10, they're an E12 torque. So this is what you're gonna need. So it's not an E10, it's an E12 for both torques on the tensioner. E12, not E10. So this is your tensioner. That's the pin I was telling you about that holds it in place. These are your two E12 torques. Tensioner's off. And we're gonna break out a new one and install it. All right, we got your new tensioner. Which is gonna go right down there, if you can see. Right there. See the two holes? Tensioner's gonna go right there. Two bolts holding on. E12 Torx, let's get it installed. All right. Tension is installed. Top bolt. Bottom bolt. And you will release the pin later when you install the belt. So your tension is done. Next, we're going to do these two pulleys, because these are always known for going bad. Once you change the drive belt, you must change these two. All right. Next step, we're going to do this one first. Also the same, E12. Place it right here. Break it loose. Go ahead and get that pulley off. Use your ratchet. That's pretty much it. Let's get this off. Pulley is off. And you can see some of the belts still left. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this area up. Try to get as clean as possible for, before we install the next pulley. No tensioner. And get ready to install now. Installing it. New pulley. Get installed. New pulley is installed. Same T12 torque. Pull that one next. Let's get it off. That one's a little bigger. T14. Pull that 
pulls that tension, pulls that pulley right there. T14 torque. It's a little bit bigger than the others. T14 pulls that. So let's get that off. Last pulley. It is off. Clean it up a little bit. It's reinstalled right there. It's the old pulley. Number T14 torque. A little bigger than the rest. Let's get it installed. New pulley. Area has been cleaned. This is where it's going to be installed. E14 torque. New pulley. I always place it for the words forward. Install your bolt like that. Go ahead and put your pulley in. And let's get it tightened down. Here we go. Installing it. And just take your ratchet, your T14. Put it on here. Tighten it down. And it's installed. You just want to snug it. Now we're going to clean all the garbage out of the bottom. We're going to drop the bottom guard. Get all the old belt. Make sure there's no residual belt stuck in the alternators, crankshaft, pulley, air compressor. I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and clean down. So we're gonna raise the car, clean it out real good before we install the drive belt. Next step. Getting out all the debris. I remove both guards. Just cleaning out all the debris of the belt, of the pulleys, so we can install the next drive belt. Sometimes there's debris in between the pulleys, so you have to use a scribe and clean it out. And that's what I'm doing now. Everything is clean. All the excess belt has been removed. Now we're going to install the drive belt. First place you want to start the belt from is the crankshaft pulley. And I'll show you how it's routed when I have it installed. 